Stacy, and today I'm gonna be doing a seafood wool slash story time. If you know me, I love seafood. But today my story time is gonna be based off a true story, an emotional story, um, a wonderful story actually. But before I get to the video, I'm gonna get a thumbnail, then I'm gonna get a little taste the food first before I start telling the story and answering questions that some people might have. Let's see. Oops. Okay, look, I got a sauce too, a little dipping sauce. Hold on. Let's see. Let me show you a little bit of dipping sauce. And I got the crab legs. I, I forgot the potatoes at the store because I had made this seafood bowl on my own. You know, grown people stuff. But anyways, let me take the first before I get into my video, yeah. Ooh. Dang. Look at that. Wonderful. Baby. Uh, here okay but today i'm gonna be doing my story time on about me being 16 and pregnant being a teen mom basically i was teen mom of two chaps two um children i have skylar and ava i was how was i was 17 when i had skylar and 19 when I had Ava. But this story time will be based, based off my first experience so everybody can get like a feel. Cause I know it's like a lot of teen moms, a lot of people trying to figure out if they want to keep the baby and if it's hard or how did I get through it? And how did I get past the jealousy, like the hate comments, the jealousy, whatever you want to call it. How did I end up losing friends? All type of stuff. This video is going to be based off everything that you need to know. And would like to know. Okay, but. Okay, first question is. How did I find out? I found that I was pregnant because. One, my stomach had like. It had like a little roundness to it. Like, had like. Because I'm like. When I'm not pregnant, I'm super flat. Like, my stomach is super flat. Like, no sit-ups is needed flat. But it started to get like a little bit bigger, like my stomach was like hanging over my pants and they never did that. I'm a skinny person. Something must must have been wrong. But um, my stomach started to look big because I didn't have morning sickness. And well, another thing is I didn't come on my period. I started noticing my period having came on like three months. But for me, it's normal for me not to come on my period like every month sometimes i skip a month sometimes i stay on for two months well not two months but like two weeks so it's like i have an irregular period that's what i have so i didn't think nothing of it at first until it was like too long the longest it's ever been since i went without a period so hold on mm -mm 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 -mm. so i take his darnell Y'all know Darnell is the father of both of my children. Both of them. I texted him, telling him he was like, you should go get a pregnancy test or whatever. But before I did that, um, I was trying to figure out how I was going to tell my mama. Because I already had a feeling that I was pregnant. Because I didn't come on my period. It was like all the signs were there like your pregnant your stomach is like round but i didn't even tell my mom my sister told my mom because i was so scared i was crying like that's the worst thing you ever want to tell your mother is that your teen child is pregnant well it's not the worst but it's just hard because don't no parent really want to hear that they might they accept it and then move on with it they either gonna accept it or not accept it. But 
don't know parent really want to hear that. They like parents be having big dreams for the kids, like to go to college and pursue a career and stuff like that. I'm trying to get that little piece of meat out and it's not coming out. So my sister ended up telling my mama that was pregnant because I didn't have the balls to tell her. I really didn't. I was so scared. I was scared out my man. That's why I do not push nobody to tell their parents. Like they text me, ask me for advice. And be like, how did you tell your mom? I was scared as ever. My best advice when you tell your parents, have like a sibling with you or somebody. I don't know, because it's going to be so. Have like a sibling, a close auntie, somebody that's not going to like judge you. In this case, I had my sister, my second oldest sister with me. Because my first one was in Georgia. Probably would have had both if she wasn't all in different states. She wasn't going to be able to protect me. But I told one of my older sister, and she ended up telling her mama. Because I was crying through the whole story. Literally, the whole story. Like, I couldn't even get it out of my mouth. My sister just said, that was like, she pregnant. Like, basically telling my mama to deal with it and get over it. And my mom went to the store. Um, she got the pregnancy tests or whatever. I think she was kind of praying that they would say that I wasn't. But of course they did. But she didn't like, she didn't judge me or nothing. She just, she actually made me, she actually had me make my own decisions. Like, she told me that she was going to be there for me and support me. My daddy on the other hand, we not even going to talk about him. But... <laughs> My mom was real supportive through the whole process. When I, but my daddy, he was supportive after the fact, after the child got here. Because you know fathers, fathers do not want to hear that from me, little girl. But especially on his only child, too. He did not want to hear that. Mm -hmm. That's the last thing he wanted to hear, was that I was pregnant. But I didn't tell him until I was like, pretty much, I'd say... I was about to have a baby. I was like probably six months. And that's when my mama told him because I didn't tell him. I didn't have a boss to tell him. I was scared to tell him. My mama told him after she calmed down and she accepted it. She told him. Even though she kept, she wanted me to tell him. She kept telling me to tell him. But it didn't work like that. She ended up telling him for me. And I was proud of her. I was happy. Same thing with Darnell. He was scared to tell his parents. So I had I ended up telling his mama. But she wasn't there. I was young, so I was 16. So she had to, she actually talked to my mama. And Lord knows what they talked about. But what made me, hey, now let me tell you about what made me actually decide to keep the baby. When you get pregnant, you don't just think about yourself no more. Like you have to think like, it's a whole nother person inside of me. It's a whole nother life. Even if you're young, old, whatever you wanna, anything. Never ever, ever just think about yourself. Because, yes, it would be hard to raise a child, but it's other options of, the, uh, like, you put the child up for adoption for families that can't have a kid. It's, like, a whole lot of options. But before you make a decision, don't ever, 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 ever let somebody put something in your head saying that you can't do it because anything is possible. I did it. I'm doing it again with another one that's a month old. I'm surviving. I'm living. Got my own apartment, own car. Do not let anybody tell you that you cannot do it. Because you're going to have the haters. You're going to have the unsupportive people. You're going to have the people that's talking behind your back. You're going to lose friends. You're most definitely going to lose friends, especially if you're a teen mom. You're going to lose friends. Everybody's going to have an opinion. But as long as... You and the father of your child on the same page. 
And if you get a job to take care of that baby, then you good. But like me, I was staying with my mama. Still in high school. I was still staying with my mama because she was supportive. I was with her. Um I was in high school. She really ain't want me. She really didn't want me to get a job because she wanted me to finish school. My main focus was finishing school. So she helped me out with Skylar a lot. A lot, a lot. She was watching Skylar while I went to school. So I can't graduate. Graduate. I ended up graduating, what? What was that? A year early? Yeah, a year early. I graduated high school a year early. Because I had to, had to start working. My mom really wasn't having it. She wanted to make sure I got out of high school, got my high school diploma. So... She looked out for me and Skylar. She helped me out as much as she could. As far as buying stuff, mm, what else? Watching her when I needed her to. She even watched her while I still went to school dances. When I should be in the house <laughs> watching my child. Don't get me wrong, I'm a good parent. I always watch my child, but my mom is the type that she know we need a break because my mom was a team mom. So she understood. Ooh. But, let me see. What else can I talk about? Well, I can tell y'all a little bit about the labor. When I went into labor with the first, my first child, I was in that room pushing. Now, let me tell y'all first of all, I went to labor at 11.30 at night. I was having contractions. I was sleeping in my mom's bed because I could not sleep by myself when I was pregnant. <laughs> but I was in that hospital having contractions and stuff. And this lady in front of me came in there all calmly, all nicely, wasn't having contractions, and wanted to take all day to register in. So I'm sitting in there in full pain, ready to have this baby. Even though I ain't had a baby like until probably like what 17 hours later. But still, I need the epidural. Yes, I got the epidural. No, it is not good. But I got it because I do not like pain. That stuff hurt. Going to labor hurt. So as soon as they gave me the option to get the epidural, I got the epidural. I did not feel nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um I had the father of my child, my mother, and his mother in the um, hospital room with me. And his mama kept pressing that button, the epidural button. And baby, I couldn't feel nothing. I couldn't feel nothing. Somebody could have pinched my legs and I would have never felt it. But, let me see. I was in the um, labor room pushing for the 45 minutes. I think I was pushing for 45 minutes. Hardest thing ever when you got asthma. Steady pushing. Oh my God. Well, it's not that hard. Now that I think about it, but when you're in that moment, you're going to be like, dang, child, just come up out of me. Yes. I was in that type of dang, child, get up out of me. Jesus. This stuff is so good, y'all. And I got lots to tell y'all. I was so ready for her to come out in the labor room. It was crazy. But right now, my daughter is currently two. She is so bad. So, so bad. But I do not regret my decision at all. It was, she's honestly the best thing I ever had. The best decision I ever made. It was worth losing the friends. But you know, now that I thought and had them, everybody else is pregnant. Now they ask me for advice. After y'all didn't diss me. Well, let me tell you something. Figure it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but now, even if I bump heads with people, they text me, ask me how it is or whatever. I text them back. That's why I'm doing this video now because I see like a lot of people that I used to be cool with or whatever. Having babies. Or pregnant. But 
I feel like the best thing, like with this pregnancy, my recent pregnancy I just had with my second daughter, Ava, I kept that thing, like, I kept it a secret. I kept it a secret till I couldn't keep it a secret no more. Like, my daddy ain't found out that I was pregnant with my baby until she came out. Literally. That's how I was keeping away. My mama found out I was pregnant again. Um, ooh. um, found out I was pregnant again with my second child. She found out what I want to say November, and I gave birth in January because it was so much like. It was so much like bad things people were saying about me and saying that I shouldn't keep it or well, keep Skyler. So I was just like, I'm not gonna tell nobody this time. Ooh. Ooh. Cause the same people that told me that I shouldn't keep them, I ain't asked neither one, none of them for a damn for my kids. They not the ones. They not the ones that's gonna be buying diapers. They not gonna be the ones that's gonna be watching them 24 seven. They not gonna be the ones watching them in the middle of the night when it's time to make bottles. Or they not gonna be there. So their opinions really shouldn't matter. But you know somebody always got something to say. So if I was y'all, I just keep it between my parents. If you can, just keep it between your parents and like people that you know they ain't gonna judge you. Because this is a cold world out here. Real cold world. Because even some of my family members had something to say. Yes, family cannot be trusted. They'll judge you too. They'll judge you faster than some of your friends will. Yeah, this stuff is so good. Let me see if I answer all my questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my question I didn't answer. Ooh. Um, pregnancy problems. I didn't have any pregnancy problems. I didn't have any morning sickness. Well, I'm anemic, so I do take iron pills. Well, I'm supposed to take them. I don't take them. But... I supposed to and so when I gave birth I ended up bleeding a lot and which caused me to have to have blood um, transfusion so if you're anemic out there and you're pregnant and they tell you to take them iron pills take them iron pills you do not want anybody else blood inside you that was my biggest regret doing the whole thing was not taking the iron pills but I really couldn't take no pills when I was pregnant. I couldn't take prenatal pills, iron pills, no pills. It just, medicine wasn't for me when I was pregnant. Wrong but at the end of this video, I'm gonna show pictures of um Skylar and Ava and they orchard sounds probably. If I can find them. But like I was saying, my kids are my biggest blessings. Both of them. They both get on my nerves. But I wouldn't trade them in for absolutely anything. Because if you want to father the child, you want to father of your child, you're on the same page about keeping it, whether y'all together or not together. As long as y'all on the same page doing what y'all got to do, then y'all good. But some guys will lie and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there, makes things so good. And don't be there. 
So make sure you think of that too before you decide to. I would recommend that you um keep the child. But I know everybody is not. Everybody doesn't have a support system. Everybody doesn't like see themselves having the kids or whatever. Because anything is possible. You still can go to college, get a degree with a kid. You just got to set your mind to it and do it. And actually do it. But I recommend you keep it. But if you can't, then think of other options like adoptions to families that can't have babies. Or I didn't even seen that the grandparents been raising their child kids. And just before you like, just think before you act. Don't get scared. Be like. How would your parents feel and just go get an abortion? Like, you never know. Your parents might support you. So just don't jump. Just don't make any decisions so fast. Give it some time. And just think about it. Like, it is another life. It is another um, child inside you, another life, another heartbeat. And we take your breath, taking a breath for another another person. But in my experience, having a ch having kids, I'm gonna say kids because I have two. It's not that really hard. It's not hard. It's really not hard. It gets stressful at times, but it's really not that hard. Cause it's like a lot of programs that help. Like if you don't know, like if you're from Chicago, we have WIC, we have Link. We have so many things that help parents with kids. Like, you can, um, like WIC, if you don't know, WIC is the people that give your baby free milk. So you won't have to spend, how much is it? How much is it again? $17 a can. Because I've seen them prices. But then I had connections, like, because my sister had a child. So she knew about WIC and stuff. And she, um, yeah, they helped me about WIC, whatever. They told me about WIC. I didn't know how I wanted to do it either. That milk was a lot of money. The only thing you really have to worry about is diapers. Baby clothes, you can go to Walmart. Because when I first had Skylar, I did not have it like that. So my favorite go-to place was Walmart and Carter, Carter's um, Clarence Rack. Now I'm a baby walking around with Jordans and stuff. <laughs> I need to go back to the cheap ways. She used to have Burlington Coat Factory clothes on and stuff. She still do buy Burlington Coat Factory and stuff. But she just be wearing... Well, now she wear American Kids and Jordans and Nikes. First she was wearing Burlington Coat Factory boots and stuff. But... But y'all, this is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to get off this video. And I'm going to finish enjoying this. Even though y'all ain't see me eat my lobster tail. But I'm going to stop doing this video. I'm about to finish killing this. Because I still got a lot more to go. But this video is already 23 minutes long. So, if you want to see me do any other videos... Just comment down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn your notification bell on so you can get notified every time I post a video. And I'm out. Bye.